Uh, we've got another believer on the line. We've got a couple, actually. Let's see uh, how many more people we can take. Fred in Florida. Hello, Fred. We're talking to Eric and V. How are you doing? Hi, Eric. Hi, V. How are you? Doing good. Doing really well, man. Uh, what, what did you want to talk about today? You know, um, I guess you both said that you were um, Christians at one time. I mm -hmm. guess you were, you were raised in, in church. Mm -hmm. And I would like to know what it means to be a Christian. Let, let me clarify something before you answer, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. I'm not asking, you know, how a person becomes a Christian. Mm -hmm. And I'm not asking, what does a Christian do? I'm asking, you know, what is it that makes a person a Christian? Because, you know, obviously some people, they were, you know, they, they were a Christian at one point and then, or, or they weren't, and now they are. So, I mean, what, what is it that makes a person a Christian is my question. Fred, quick question, um, just so I kind of understand where you're at. Um, are you a Christian? I am, yes. Okay, okay. And so you kind of want to know our definitions so you can understand where we're at a little better? Um, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Okay, that's fair. We ask for definitions all the time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I think that we run into a little bit of a problem just because there are so many different denominations and uh, streams and paths of Christianity. Um, and a lot of them tend to be exclusionary towards other denominations. So any definition that I could give uh, for how I was taught w what I was taught a Christian was would be objectionable to a lot of other Christians. Um, so I think my baseline definition would probably be someone who uses the Bible to inspire their actions and worldview and someone who considers Jesus to be a divine figure. Um, that I think is the broadest possible term I could use as a, as a definition. And then maybe we can whittle that down if you've got other questions. I don't know. How would you describe it? Oh, uh, well, I, I think I'd start with my own, you know, upbringing too. It, 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 what I believed I was, I went to Calvary Chapel. I was a born again Christian. Um, you needed to say the sinner's prayer, accept Christ into your heart, um, get baptized. And, um, then you needed to work on that walk for the rest of your life. How's your walk with Christ? Um, it was an active life where you were continually experiencing what you thought or what I thought at the time were these, you know, spiritual experiences. Um, but does that translate to everybody who calls themselves a Christian? No way. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, just like, just like we said, Mormons consider themselves Christians. Um, and they've, they've gotten, in, you know, more books. Um, so really if somebody, and also uh, another thing, um, Fred, were you listening to the last call that we were on? Um, you know, I, when I was calling, I missed a lot of it. Okay. So there's, I, I, some... got the, I, I listened to the first part of it, but I, I missed, you know, when I was calling, I missed the last part. I got you. Uh, so it, it, what that gentleman was experiencing was something that I've found to be very common. And that is that if someone is leaving their religion, they hold on to that title till the bitter end. <laughs> and so there are people who want to make their Christianity or whatever their faith background is fit what, however they're learning is. So they change their definitions of things and, yeah. and move things around and make it more and more and more vague. And really, we are not in the business of telling Christians who they are. Um, because then what we're doing is we're just being prescriptivists. We're, we're putting them in bins. Instead, we let them call in so that we can try and, like V said, meet them where they're at. Um, so can we you, ask you, you do that very well. You really do listen to them and you don't put label, you know, tags on them that, that they believe this. You listen to what they believe. And, you know, that's pretty impressive. Oh, um, thank you, man. You're welcome. But yeah, no, no, I, you know, I, I really like you guys and you're, you're really reasonable that way. And, you know, they, I'm so nervous to call you. And, you know, you're about the only show that I would call because I am so nervous. Oh, <laughs> so, you're good, I brother. I want you to know you, you do a really good way. But, okay, can, can I comment on, on um, where, you know, I think you, I think you kind of missed what the, what the Bible teaches in, in what a Christian is. I'm interested. I'd just like to tell you. Uh, is, i just like to tell you. Can, can I ask you first, is, is this something yeah. that you took from something that we said on the shows, or are you assuming that we did what you're about to describe? Um, I'm taking it from your answers that you gave me right now. Okay. Okay. 
Go for it. Okay, man. because you know, I mean, being says it's like using the Bible and and um, doing what you know, doing what Jesus wants you to do, pretty much. And and um, and Eric says that it's you know, prayer and being baptized and and working on your walk. Right, Zach. Pretty much. I mean, I'm just summing it up. Um, yeah. Would that be correct? Yeah. I mean, you could yeah, probably uh, the, the way we were taught. You know, you could still be a Christian, but um, it would be like taking an ember out of a fire, you know, when, when, do you remember that? That was never one that was used. No, we, 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 we would talk about taking an ember out of the fire. They grow cold when you move, put it away by itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you surround yourself with those other embers, you are on fire for Christ. You, you continue to uh, reinforce each other. Um, so yeah, those were all kind of tied into my understanding, but. Yeah, I think, I think overall that's. Yeah. Yeah, I think right. you're probably pretty much on, on point with that. So what about those definitions don't match up okay. with yours? Okay, well, I, I mean, pretty much what, you know, I'm saying that, that, that those are like things that, that Christians do do. They, you know, they use the Bible, of course. They follow, you know, they're supposed to follow right. Jesus. They're supposed to work on their walk. I mean, all those things are, are true, but that's not saying what is a Christian. That's saying what they do or what they do to, to become a Christian but it doesn't nail any what, you know, at one point, you know, you are a non-believer or a believer. And the, the next point you could be, you know, you are converted to a believer. And so I'm not asking the process and I'm not ask, asking about the, um, the result, but what actually is a Christian? What makes that person a Christian? So do you and, think um, that there is a fundamental kind of physical change that happens when somebody becomes a Christian? Is that what you're asking? You know, B, I'm still as ugly as I was the day I said, you know, the day I accepted the Lord into my life. <laughs> so physically, no. Oh, man. I- I'm sorry. I heard that line a lot at church. That, that, that That's one of those uh, wrong worthy ones. Oh, actually, Fred. Actually, I say that, but I think I'm, I think I'm good looking at it. Don't worry. <laughs> so what kind of a change? I'm assuming that the, the, the thing you're going to go to is that there's some kind of change that happens, and what is that change? Well, it says that, you know, the Bible says, you know, the, I mean, you've heard the, the term born again. Mm-hmm. You know, when, when Jesus talked to Nicodemus, he said, you know, a man must be born again. And it says, you know, in, in Romans chapter 8, 9, it says, if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, they do not belong to him. So it, to, to you, what, what happens is the Holy Spirit comes in to a person, which is the, the third person of the Trinity. It's God coming into a person and um, giving them spiritual life. And so, no, you don't look the same. Can I have, uh, can I ask a question? You can ask all the questions you like. Okay. Um, so how, how does a person know that they have the spirit of Christ in them? Because I definitely knew I did. Yeah. You knew that you did? Yeah. You, you both knew that you did. But now you're atheist and you don't believe in God. Mm-hmm. So you believe that God came and, and took up residence inside you. Well, at the and time. And now you don't believe in God. Yeah. Well, at the time I believed yeah. that that was the case. Okay, at the time. But, but what I'm saying is, is if you truly, if you truly believe this, that this happened to you, that God came inside you and lived, and now you say you don't believe in God, that's, I, I don't see how both can be true. Well, do you, under, do you understand? Well, yeah. yeah, my my point is that when I was a believer, that's what I believed. I don't believe that God, this Holy Spirit was inside me right now. I don't think that's the case anymore. Or that it ever was. Do you believe, right. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit ever was in you? No, not now. When I was a Christian, I did believe that. We don't even think there's a Holy Spirit to reside in right. a person. So how could we think that it lives in us if we don't even think that okay. it's a thing? Okay, correct. That, that's my point. What I'm getting at is if you don't think there's a Holy Spirit and you saying that you used to be a Christian, it, 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 it's contradictory because you're okay. saying that if you are a Christian, that the Holy Spirit did live inside you. Right. That's so, what a Christian so that, that's that, a Christian is. Uh, Fred, I, I, I'm, I'm saying this, and I want you to know I'm not trying to dish on you as a human, um, but that's what happens with education. You change your views as you get more information. And I got more information. V got more information. And what we found was that, okay, um, so there were things specifically about what you're saying that really deeply resonate <laughs> with me right now. Uh, so you're, you're going to get a good bit. Um, one of them was that 
They said, you can identify a Christian by the fruits, by his fruits. Um, another is um, that, well, actually, I'll start with the fruits. Um, if you saw somebody doing good things, they were being Christ-like. We, we, we'd kind of set up this system wherein we took everything that we thought was good and ascribed it to Christ. And um, there are times now sitting on the other side that I've had Christians call in and go, well, actually, Christ still resides inside of you because you're doing good things. Um, it's impossible for you not to be a good person without Christ. There are so many of these different statements that just, I, I mean, if you've watched the shows, you know, our number one just claims that don't have any backing and evidence that they're unfalsifiable, um, that they're condescending as heck. Um, and it's, what it's doing is it's co-opting human behavior to justify a conclusion that's not rational. Um, you know, when when it came to the uh, the fruit of the Holy Spirit, which is a different thing. You know, the fruits of your labor was one thing. The fruits of, you know, your activity was one thing. But the fruit of the Holy Spirit was another. And it was this burning in the breast and, the, and the, this warmth that, you know, would take over you. And, and, and you had all these feelings. And what's interesting is with more information, I found that other cultures that have completely contradictory religious beliefs also have the same experiences, that there are people who don't accept any religions who practice um, different types of mindfulness, meditation, or spirituality of some kind also experience that. People who aren't spiritual at all have gone to concerts that they adore and had that same feeling. And so that feeling is not uniquely tied to what I thought was the fruit of the Holy Spirit. It's tied to my biology and it's tied to that specific set of circumstances that make my body feel that way. And so okay. yeah. if, if I thought that the Holy Spirit was this culmination of things and then I learned all of this other information about the rest of the world and how this was not uniquely Christian, this was not uniquely me, this was not uniquely my church, but it was a part of this bigger humanity that we're in. Yeah, dude, it dissuaded me. Okay. Um, as far as that goes, I mean, the Bible does explain that, that you know, I mean, there, there are other um, forces, you know, spirit, supernatural forces as far as the Bible says, you know, there are demonic forces and, you know, and there, so I, and I believe that, you know, the other religions, I mean, well, take the rock stars, for instance. I mean, you know, they say that they got um, songs and stuff is that, you know, and they, as they sold their soul, soul to Satan and stuff. I mean, right. you know, several of them. Right. Uh, okay, yeah, I adore that whole satanic panic story, but it's a it is a line that we don't have the time to go down. Yeah. Um, also, okay. also, um, uh -huh. when we're talking to people, we can get their honest views, but when we're talking about people, what we do is we can set up a straw man, you know, an argument about a person that's not true about that person or that they would not say about themselves. And so it's better to have that conversation with that person than about that person. Well, I have the book, you know, I have a book here that, you know, the, the um, singer of porn uh, says that he, did, he um, you know, that, that okay. um, he got his, Okay. I mean, yeah, it's, it's I, I corn was great. Jonathan Davis was fantastic. I'll never forgive him for a limp biscuit. And I have a book too. <laughs> I have a book okay. too. And okay, but I'm that just, doesn't I'm mean just saying it's, it's not it's not just me just saying this and making it up. It's I mean, these are, you know, they, they, they've, they've made testimonies of it. I'm just saying that, that you know, it, it's like as far as um, denying it because other people have experiences. I, well, really, my, my thing is, is like you're saying that you're Christian, but you don't believe that people actually are Christians. No, because I believe that believe people are Christian. I don't, just don't. You don't believe that the Holy Spirit exists. So there, so truly to be a Christian, you have to have the Holy Spirit. So no, whoa, well, hold on, stop. Well, stop. That's no true Scotsman. Yeah. We're not going to go down that right. path. Um, if you've watched the show, you, no, you, you know what no true no, Scotsman you can't is. Put a label on it and just discredit what I say. Just, just don't hang a label on it and just discredit what I say. Do you know what no true Scotsman is? Yeah, there's no true Scotsman. Okay. Yeah, yeah it, you know, is, what is, is that what you're saying? Am I wrong? No, I, I'm saying what you're saying is there's no, that, that, that there is, if you're saying there is no Holy Spirit, 
you are saying that there is no one that is a Christian because that's receiving the Holy Spirit is what makes a person a Christian. That is your I, view. Yeah, right. Where I am contesting your that definition is, that is, that, of what, what a what Christian the, is. That's what the Bible says, the biblical view. It's not mine. It says that no one, if anyone does not have the Spirit of God, Christ, they do not belong to Christ. Okay. They are not a Christian. This is what the Bible says, not Fred. Me. Do you know how many people have called? Do you know how many people have said that's what the Bible says to justify slavery? Do you no, know how many I people have said, you know what? No, it's in the Bible. That's justifying my racist behavior. No, you don't get to just say it's in the Bible because I'm justifying the thing I already think, or else I can point out a whole bunch of things that I bet you would not agree with in the Bible. That 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 does that's not going to fly, Fred. It's not. It's not going to fly with you. It flies with me. I know, and I really hope that you think more about it. If you're, if you're saying that you're a Christian according to the Bible, a Bible-believing Christian, and you're, but, you, but you don't believe what the Bible says about a person that is a Christian, I mean, how could you be a Christian? It just doesn't make sense. Yeah, I, I'm not I, trying I, to be. I'm not trying so I mean, I'm just, I'm just, Fred. Just, just plain simple logic tells you this. Fred, um, do you believe that if somebody is once a Christian, they are always a Christian? Um, well, yeah, because of what the Bible says. They they left us because they were never part of us. Okay, yeah. so you don't believe in free will then? Um, yes, I believe in free will. Okay, you may want to try and connect those two in a way that doesn't cause massive cognitive dissonance and get back to no, about that. I've, I've, I've heard this before. I mean, yeah, so how, how they left us. If you, if you truly are born again, you, yeah, you're, I mean... Yeah, they left us because they weren't part of us. Right, but they thought they were, and all of their actions were indicating that they were, but they weren't, which means they weren't in control of whether or not they were. No, you know what? I mean, we, I mean, we do things and, and, and can believe things and, and not really, um, you know, um, I, I mean, to, to do good things. I mean, that's something that, you know, all people can do and to, to, to get a teaching and to say like, oh, this is good. But, but to really, you know, um, to be full in on the teaching and stuff, what it, you know, everything that it's getting and not understand it is um, possible also. And I think, so I think really, you know, I, I think that you guys thought that you were Christians. I, 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 I'm not disputing that. No, you're condescending. I'm saying, no, I'm not being condescending. I'm not trying to be. That's not my intention. I know it's I'm not saying, your intent. It's the impact, though, of, of that belief. Um, but Fred? I, I, I don't want to interrupt you. Go ahead and say it. And I think you're going to repeat yourself and say, um, if you're not one of us, you never were. Um, is that what you were going to say? You know, you know there, there's, there's a teaching of the four soils, you know, the soil that, 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 that fell on the different grounds. I'm sure you know that, Eric. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, you're, reading, you're reading the Bible again through. I, I commend you for that. But, you know, and, and I mean, the Bible explains all these things that, that happen to people and um, why, you know, um, why they fall away? Does and, the soil you know, I believe, have a? I, I'm, I'm a Christian. I believe this, of course. I'm not going. I'm not following this because I don't believe it. I mean, I believe what the Bible says. I, I, I'm not trying to be condescending, but this is what I believe. I, I understand, and I'm glad you're calling in. Um, I think that it's important that people hear this conversation. V has been trying to cut in for a while. I'm sorry, V. That's okay. I just wanted to know. Um, how you justified that combination because you're using the the, meta, the the parable of the four soils. Do any of the four soils have any say in what kind of soil that they are? No, I guess not. I mean, I, I mean soil is soil, right? Right, exactly. Like the dry soil with no nutrients doesn't ha it didn't make that decision. So that parable backs up the concept that we don't have the choice whether or not we believe, right? You know, the, I, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you here. You know, like they, they you know, like the, like, like this stuff, like this. I'm really, I, I believe both ways very strongly, and you know, I really don't take a, a, a stand on it, you know, because I'm just really not sure. Okay, it's you good. Know, That's great. Really, You're not really sure. Not. You don't know. That's a great place to start. I, I love that. Know. That's awesome. Okay, I'm sorry I interrupted you. I didn't mean to keep cutting you off. No worries. None at all. 
it gets heated. Yeah, and but, that's fine. Yeah. That makes good TV. Yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 really, I believe what I believe, and I, I mean, I'm passionate about it. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm not trying to be rude to you, so, and I'm not trying to be condescending, but I really believe this. I know, you know you do. So, of course, I'm, I have feelings towards it. I have, sure. you know, emotions and passion for it. Absolutely. Yeah. As do we, which is why we're doing this. Um, yeah. it, it's, I, I want you to see on the other side. It does definitely give people who are Christian a, an excuse to invalidate others, to say that your experience isn't any real experience and therefore does not merit being questioned or does not merit any more investigation. Um, what it has done is it has empowered parents to disown their children. It has empowered congregations to shun congregants who some have lived their entire lives. That's the only place that they get community. Mm -hmm. But it is a tool that not only shuts off conversations, um, but, and, uh, well, it not only shuts off conversations, it becomes a tool for a lot of hurt that people do. Uh, and that people inflict yes, it, on each other. It can. And, you know, and I, I agree with you. also, it empowered Cy 10 Bruggenkate, man. Cy <laughs> 10 Brug Fred, Cy 10 Bruggenkate. No. I don't, know what you, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, <laughs> gosh. It's, it's, it's this presuppositionalist, um, you know, God put himself inside of you and you know it. You're just actively denying it um, argument. And basically it's la, la, la. No, I think I'm right and you're wrong. You're just lying to me. And that's the whole shtick. It's brutal, um, but it, it, it's a rabbit hole that you get. Anyway, <laughs> back, 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 back to the free will. Was there anything else that you two, or did you feel good? No, I was just looking for some clarification. I All think right. that I would be very interested to hear if you do have any more thoughts on that, Fred. So if you do want to talk a little bit more about how we can have free will and also not, not have the option of being a Christian or not, um, that, would be, that would be fun to talk to again, so... Yep, yep. In the meantime, okay. though, have a good one. I'm glad you called in. Okay. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Aww.